hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to edit a video using Velo. Velo is one of the apps i mentioned during the beginning of this training and in today's video we are going to understand the concept and the user interface of Velo. so if you don't have it you head over to your app store and download it um i'm going to open my own app now so once you open it, you are welcome to this dashboard. You can create a motion picture. You can create a video. Below here, you'll see your tabs to show all the projects you've been working on. These are all the videos I've edited so far with this. So you'll see all the edits you've done. You can use this small icon to have a full glance of it. So these are all of them. I'm going to go back. You can click on this hamburger menu icon to it will take you to the store to upgrade to a premium. With the premium version, you see it doesn't have an ad remover and it doesn't display ads. And it has it has some pretty good premium offers. But the fun part is using the free version, you can save your video without a watermark. And you have a whole lot of functionalities available on the free version, so it's a pretty decent app to use. Um, I'm going to get started. You can use, you can choose to do a motion, a motion video. I'll just do something really quick. You can apply stickers to it, and you get some animations in your in your pictures but i'm not going to do that i'm going to click on this create video so i'm just going to select some random videos from my storage You can also add pictures as well. I'll add a picture of something I did. <laughs> yeah, I'll add these pictures and if you have gifts, you can add them. But I'll just add them. In the, in the next video, I'll show you how I edit my YouTube video. So you get to see hands on. And one thing I like about this app is you can specify your you can specify your aspect ratio while before you edit and also during the editing. It has this cool feature here to specify the image duration. Whatever duration you set here will be used for any image you have. So I set mine to six seconds. Standard is by default is at five. So you can choose to leave it there. You can choose if you're doing it for an Insta story or Instagram post, you can use this. If you're doing it for a TikTok, you use 9x16. So I'm choosing this for YouTube, but um, I'll just go with this for an Instagram story because in the next video, I'll show you the one for YouTube. So I'll click on next. It will import all my clips and take me to my dashboard. At first, if you want to resize let's say the clips are not fully loaded you can choose just tap on it and you click on this resize then you can resize pretty much to any size you want you can use this icon here to restore to the default and you click done once you're done <coughs> one thing about this app is you have to apply you have to apply it manually on all clips so if your clips if you choose a duration and it doesn't sit well on that clip you need to set, set them individually for it to work you can't just specify one aspect ratio and use it throughout the clip so i'll use this so first thing you need to do is to make sure you all your images all your clips and your images are properly aligned like they are sitting well and no hidden details are lost that's part of the best practice to start with always make sure everything is fully done 
you can zoom in as you okay then you click on done for the images if they are not properly aligned you can also do a resize to specify what you want to do so i'll just leave them as is i'm just showing you the cool effects you can add so from here you can choose to decrease or increase the duration of your clips i can choose to drag it just hold and drag to reduce it that's one way of reducing or you can use this icon the playhead this red icon is known as the playhead wherever the playhead is you can set your image your video to stop at that playhead you can use this to go back if you made a mistake so it will undo your steps so to move you can use this icon here to move to the front or you can move to the back <coughs> use this to split if you want to do an edit so i can split this and trim down some inner parts i can say <coughs> before i need to trim it down for me <coughs> excuse me it doesn't let you set the background from your gallery so you are limited to colors in this app unless you upgrade to the premium version so you can use pretty much any color you want but you cannot use an image for your background and that's one downside about this app but if your video clips are aligned properly you don't have a problem so next you can set the audio duration it also has audio enhancement so if the clip doesn't have much audio you can increase to about 500 percent i need to increase the volume of the the clip so that's a pretty good feature to use there you can specify the speed make it as fast as you want You can slow it down or leave it as the, as the default. I'll return it back to the normal one volume. Oh, excuse me. Then when I'm done, you click on this done. So what next? You can use an adjustment layer to adjust the ratio. But this is a pro feature. So you cannot use that for now um you can add in transitions to your clip there is a fading a fade transition dissolve transition but some of these are paid so you need to upgrade to pro to use them but they really they have some cool transition in the free version that you can use the one i like most is this fade and i can just choose to apply it to all then i'm done so you can also add and once you're editing you can edit the, the um, aspect ratio by clicking on this settings icon you can use it to re-edit your aspect ratio of your video and it will automatically apply to all your clips um another thing you can do is to add text um i'll just call this new text then you can drag until where you need it to stop if you need it throughout the duration of the video you just drag it to the beginning and you can use this to move it around you can resize you can use this to align or so you can just do this and you can add in transitions as well an animation of fading fade out
um you can duplicate it and have a double of that text but i'm not sure what you can need it for um you can specify an opacity as well to reduce the brightness or the intensity of the text you can edit the text using this you can edit the font you can use custom fonts um i'm not sure how to add that yet um once i do i'll let you know in a future video you can manually specify the time range of this clip you can use until let's say i move this playhead on and set it here you can say until the playhead and it will trim it down so that's a really cool feature as well um you can add in caption this is a really cool feature but their text in this app are pretty basic so i can choose to add in an image i can place an image on top of this let's say you are doing a video for a brand with this logo so you can add in their logo to play and specify the duration of the logo you can use it throughout the video clip um this is a really cool feature i like about this app but one thing to note is that you cannot it doesn't let you place video on top of each other unlike kine master which we're going to see in, in our next section so but this is a really cool feature so you can you can place multiple image on top of each other i can choose to add another image as well um let's say i choose this and it will automatically add and i can choose to feature it in the duration where the other image was playing and once i play this both images will show so i can drag this wherever i want so this concept is really cool if you are doing a branded advert for a company so once you're done you you can add images um audio you can do a voice over you can add sound effect this bgm you can use it to add your images they have some cool image here but you can use from your gallery so you can download and import in your work so i'll just pick a random i'll choose a random video and i'll import it and i'll specify it i can use to i can choose to specify it throughout the duration of the clip And I'll set the fade in, fade out. You can reduce the volume if you want. I'm just going to leave it at that. On what next? You can add in filters. But most of these filters are pro features they only have a few for free version i'm just going to reset back to the default and proceed so once you're done you can just click on this upload icon to save your video um you can choose to save this app lets you to save in high quality for free you can choose this hd quality as well so you can use this pretty much to do a shoot is a complete movie and edit it in this app so it's a really cool feature so i'm going to use this high resolution and i'll just export once you export it will start saving to your device so you need to wait for it um if your phone is a small phone obviously you need to you don't need to close this app otherwise it will close in the background but if you're using a high-end smartphone you can minimize and continue doing other things and wait for it to save once it's done it will alert you that it has completely saved so this is more like an intro to 
Velo showing you all the cool features you can achieve with it. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how I edit my YouTube video using this app. I use it most of the time for my clips, for my YouTube videos, and it's pretty much giving me what I need. So, in the next video, I'll show you. Thank you for watching, as usual, and I'll see you in the next one.